So today we've come up to Walton Hall in Warrington that was owned by the Greenalls family in 1814. Also it was occupied by Lord and Lady Daresbury as well and we've got to uncover some secrets uh, from this place. So stay with us today. Walton Hall. The Walton Hall estate was first bought by the Greenall family in 1814, following the success of the family brewing business, which was set up in Wilderspool in the mid-1700s. Walton Hall then became occupied by Lord and Lady Daresbury of Warrington. However, it is interesting that an early mention of a haunting at Walton Hall dates back from June 1915 when a young couple were rudely awoken by their bedroom door noisily opening and then slamming shut again. When they mentioned this the next morning, they were told that an old lady haunted Walton Hall. An unidentified male ghost haunts the function room and spectral servants can be seen in various locations. Some rooms are studiously avoided by today's staff who have known objects in them to move and are certain that they are alone in these rooms. There is something unusual about Walton Hall. Hope you're enjoying the video anyway, very informative place. Uh, drowning in history of uh, Walton Hall in uh, Warrington in Cheshire. So this is the crazy golf at Walton Hall in Warrington. Uh, they've got loads to see and do for the kids here. They've got a nice animal park as well, which is free. And obviously the, uh, the famous Elizabethan Walton Hall gardens and house. Hiya, where are you travelling to today? Where are you travelling to? Oh, well have a good day. So this is the famous bridge house belonging to uh, Walton Hall and what a lovely traditional Elizabethan house uh, you can see by the post box, absolutely beautiful at the front door. So this is where we're going to finish off at uh, Walton Hall in uh, Warrington, hope oh, you've enjoyed the, uh, the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, we'll see you soon, so take care, all the best for now.